Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dear Gracious Dube and thank you so much for tuning in again. If you are a first time viewer, well, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click your notification bell. And if you are returning, well, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Before I even begin, I just wanna say thank you guys so, so much for the positive response which I got off of my last video, which was my summer lookbook. I, I was actually blown away at how much you guys loved that video. I am so grateful. Thank you so much for enjoying the video. <laughs> and thank you for commenting and just, you know, um, saying good things. It made me feel really, really good. And it really, really um, kind of um, inspired this video today. And today's video is basically a haul. It is a Fashion Nova haul. So if you guys do not know Fashion Nova, then i'm not sure which rock you've been living under because it is all over instagram it is all over like all over basically and the reason why i wanted to do a fashion overhaul is because i have had good experience and bad experience ordering from fashion nova and i know that ordering online has been quite has been around for quite a while but in south africa we don't really order online that much we're a bit more conservative in that respect there's a lot of like fear and unknown people thinking that their orders aren't gonna arrive etc etc so i wanted to share with you guys um my experience from ordering off of fashion nova like i said i've had good and bad experience and basically i've managed to figure out how to make sure that my order always arrives and i've managed to track my order as well so if you guys would like to see the second segment of this video if you guys would like and also i have a haul by the way so it's not just talking i'm also going to show you guys some clothes which i've purchased off of fashion nova so i'm going to show you guys those clothes we're going to have a little bit of fun as well so yeah, if you'd like to see the rest of this video, then do stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started and I hope it won't be too long. But basically, you might want to grab maybe a cup of tea or something to drink. And I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep it very, very short. Well, I'm going to try and keep it very short. So the first time I ever ordered off Fashion Nova, I actually had a very good experience. I ordered from Fashion Nova and my order arrived in less than a week and it came straight to my house so i'm like oh okay this is quite efficient stress-free pain-free i didn't even have to pay anything so as soon as i received those clothes i ordered almost immediately again off of fashion nova and then this is now where the trouble began because now the second time i'm ordering okay after a week my clothes didn't arrive i'm like okay anyway i waited some more and up until a month okay my clothes haven't arrived it's been a month so i send them an email their customer support and i spoke to a guy named larry and larry's like to me your clothes arrived they were even signed for i'm like no my clothes did not arrive they were not signed for i was even like if that's true then you know send proof that my clothes arrived that they were signed for and he never responded back so basically the serve customer service at fashion over is not very good in my experience or in my opinion so those clothes never arrived up until this day it's been close to two years now those clothes never arrived and then funny enough I ordered for a third time even though I had that bad experience the second time I ordered for a third time I don't know why but anyway I'm like okay maybe it was just you know a once-off bad luck so I ordered for the third time and then um, so same thing, like a month passes by, nothing, two months, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to track, but like on, when you track from the track number which they give you, it shows that, you know, it left the US and it shows kind of like the different countries that it's been to up until it gets to South Africa. So it shows that it actually arrived in South Africa in less than a month, but I still haven't received my stuff. And then luckily, some lady calls me from the post office. This is like now after two months, close to three months. Some lady calls me from the post office and she's like, hey, we have your stuff from Fashion Nova, um, but we can't release it because we don't have the invoice. So I'm like, okay. So she's like, okay, email the invoice to this email address. So I emailed the invoice and then they respond back and they're like, okay, you need to pay X amount. And I can't remember exactly how much, but I am gonna try and put it on the screen if I can find that email. 
but it was basically less than 500 rand um so i'm like okay kind of strange you know the first time it came straight to my house didn't have to pay for anything and now i have to pay anyway i paid glad because i had been waiting for these clothes and then these clothes eventually arrived you know they fit perfectly i'm going to speak about the clothing a little bit later actually i'm going to rather show you guys from the haul this is just more on you know the ordering experience and then so now my fourth time ordering was last year in october this all happened in 2017 so now this is 2018 in october i'm like you know what let me order again so i ordered in october and then um after a month my stuff had not arrived so i'm like okay what is going on so i remember that that lady once called me and helped me get my stuff so i looked for her email address i found it so i emailed her i'm like hey you once helped me and this is my invoice can you help me again so she responds like okay please send me your tracking number so i sent her the tracking number and it's an r000 tracking number but she's like no she needs the local tracking number so i'm like well where am i gonna find the local tracking number so what i did is that i went on google so now i'm trying to find this local tracking number so i'm putting in this r000 number which is an international tracking number and i'm trying different websites trying to convert it eventually i got lucky from this other website and i am going to put it down i forgot the website and i managed to get a local one which starts with cy so then i send it to the lady she comes back to me she's like okay fine your stuff is already at the post office it's been there for over a month by the way and you need to pay i think it was 500 and i'm gonna put it down but it was around 500 rand which i had to pay in order to release the clothes mind you i had paid for that original order i paid less than a thousand rand though so i'm like huh it was about four items anyway what am i gonna do so i paid the 500 rand i went to the post office that was also like another mess and when i got there they were like no they don't have these clothes i'm like but i just got an email from one of the ladies from the post office who told me that my stuff is here at the post office they're like well if we didn't send you a little slip then it means but like it didn't make sense so luckily i managed to find um from the tracking number i managed to get the date in which they had scanned it at that local post office so then i gave her the date so then from there she managed to track it in her book and then she went to the back came back with my stuff i'm like oh so you guys do have my stuff so anyway i just paid and i left and basically the what helped me to be able to get that local tracking number and then um be able to find the exact date which it was scanned is that i downloaded the um, post office um app so if you guys get the tracking number from fashion over right you're gonna go onto oh sorry my eye is watering but basically you're gonna go into this website like i said i'm gonna put it down you go in there you enter in the international tracking number and then from there you're gonna get a local tracking number and then you're gonna take that local tracking number and you're gonna put that on the south african um postal service app um so i think it's suppo let me see what's it called this app uh yeah suppo mobile which is basically the post uh, office um app so you put in that local one and then that shows you exactly where your order is if it's arrived in south africa which um area it's in right now which post office it's going to be delivered to so my last order which i ordered in december i managed to get it exactly a month later so this app sends you notifications so you just put in the local tracking number and then you get notifications when it's arrived like at the johannesburg hub johannesburg Johannesburg <laughs> at the Joburg hub and then when it's arrived at the local post office as well it sends you a notification to say hey it's arrived hey it's been scanned so as soon as I got the notification to say that it had been scanned I went straight to the post office when I got there they were like no they're offline da, da, da. but luckily I had the time in which it was scanned from the app and I had the tracking number so she was able to check because they also write it down in a book she was able to check in their book and then she went to the back and she got it and then I had to pay as well 600 and I think 88 rand to release the items and originally when I purchased I paid a thousand and oh gosh my eye I can't remember but I'm gonna put everything down so I paid over a thousand rand and I had to pay an extra 600 rand so 
it is possible to get your stuff once you know you order online i'm not talking about other brands other websites specifically i'm specifically talking about fashion over i have ordered off there and luckily i've managed to figure out a way in which i can track my order to see exactly where it is i realized that fashion over does deliver they are not the problem unfortunately the problem is with the post office and you know sometimes they don't notify you to let you know that your parcel has arrived and you must just be wary i mean not be wary but just beware that you will probably have to pay extra but luckily fashion over is really really affordable so it shouldn't it shouldn't you know if you pay a thousand rand for let's say six items just expect to pay about an extra 500 rand to get those items released so yeah now that that is out of the way i'm gonna go straight into the haul and i'm gonna show you guys the items which i purchased off of fashion over and then yeah let's have a bit of fun and then at the end i'm just gonna let you guys know um my opinion and if i would order again the answer is already yes i've already ordered there like four or five times so yeah stay tuned for the rest of this video <laughs> so this is the first dress and i absolutely love this dress i'm just looking at myself in the mirror over there if you're wondering what i'm looking at i love this dress i feel so sexy in this dress it's a beautiful like pink dusty pink color i would say it's a very like um unusual kind of pink in my opinion and this is called let me just see it's called the Jacqueline off shoulder mini dress and this was $22 and yeah I think this is a dress that Kylie Jenner made um, quite popular uh, she posted herself wearing this dress on Instagram but it was not in this color and then I believe it like went crazy on Fashion Nova websites everyone wanted it and when I first saw it I actually didn't see it first on Kylie Jenner I think I first saw it on someone else on Instagram but I can't remember who it was anyway I absolutely love this dress it has let me just come a bit closer it has this rib detail over here and the material is very thick and then it's got these buttons as you can see and I think what I like also is the length so I don't normally wear short things short dresses I don't normally wear short things at all but I don't feel like this is too short and here is the back of it so it's quite figure hugging quite voluptuous um you know if you are like, whatever shape you are it is going to show like it's very unforgiving in that sense it like it shows your curves as they are but i feel amazing in this dress i feel absolutely beautiful like the booty is popping but like you know the right kind of popping and my waist looks incredible i am wearing Spanx, just by the way because yeah for me, I almost cannot wear a dress without wearing Spanx. That's just, I feel more comfortable wearing Spanx. So yeah, I am wearing Spanx. And I think that if your body is super toned and everything is, you know, then don't wear Spanx. But if you like almost the rest of us, then do wear Spanx, definitely. I think you'll feel more comfortable. But like I said, the material is quite thick. So it is a bit of a weird dress. If it's a very hot day, I would say don't wear this dress so I know it's a bit confusing like it's short and it's, you know the shoulders are out but um, it's thick so that's just kind of like the weird thing about it I'd rather wear this dress like in a night out on a night out with my girls or on a date but I don't think I'll wear it on a first date because I feel like it's just maybe a little bit too sexy for a first date I think I'd rather wear it with someone I'm a bit more comfortable with. <laughs> so like someone who's my boyfriend or maybe a third date, something like that if I really, really like the guy. But yeah, I absolutely love this dress. And you guys are going to see like all the items which I bought on Fashion Over, they're all less than 250 Rand. So for me, it's definitely worth it. Like, And the, the quality is really good. So the rib detail is also over here as well. So it's nice and long and yeah, I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous and I feel amazing in it. Okay, so here is dress number two. It is a little yellow number. Also very sexy, very figure hugging. The booty is popping, the shoulders are out. I love showing my shoulders. I feel like it's just very sexy. 
and it is another long sleeve number but this one you can definitely wear on a hot summer day because the material is not as thick i'm just gonna come a bit closer it does have um some button detail over here and it's quite a thin material but it's not too thin um i would think like i don't feel like it's too thin because it's not see-through at all um so in terms of the thinness i think that's quite all right especially for the price this dress was 15 dollars um so and the thing with fashion nova is that there's always discount codes so even though it's 15 dollars i ended up only paying 10 dollars 50 um for this dress so all the items i'm going to show you guys today i didn't pay more than 250 rand for each item just because first of all fashion nova is very affordable and then secondly there's always discount codes so i get up to like 30 percent my last order i had up to 40 percent um so i ordered more things and for me it's definitely much more affordable than shopping say for example in our local stores um you won't really get a dress maybe like this for less than 250 unless it's on sale um but yeah back to this dress i think the color is quite nice you know black women always look very good in yellow and i think this really really suits me again i am wearing Spanx. With this kind of dress, I definitely would not um, not wear Spanx. Just was like I said, for me, it's more of a comfort issue. I feel more comfortable when I'm wearing Spanx. And I feel like my bum is not going to be, you know, jiggling all over the place as I'm walking. Because when I'm just wearing a thong or just normal underwear, I prefer if I'm wearing jeans because then I feel like I'm more, you know. But if it's just a dress, then I feel like my butt is just all over the place. So I'd rather wear Spanx. But yeah, this is the second dress. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is one of my favorite, like favorite dresses ever. I don't even, it's been, I've had this dress for over a year and I've only worn it twice, two weddings. <laughs> one weekend after the other, that's how much I love this dress. But yeah, um, let me just get a bit closer. It's like a suede material and it's so pretty like it's so flattering it cuts you off you know uh showing a little bit of shoulder action a little bit of booby not too much and it's just very figure hugging very curve hugging again the booty's popping but not too much because the material is thick so everything is kind of contained you know and yeah i bought this dress like i said over a year ago i don't even wow camera can you just behave okay so yeah, I bought this dress over a year ago and I'm gonna, I don't even know, have the name uh, with me but I'm gonna get the name and I am gonna put everything in the description box how much everything is, all the sizes that I got as well and the links directly to the website but yeah, this is one of my favorite dresses and for me it's more of like a very fancy event or going to a wedding because I wore this to a wedding and I'm just gonna go down a bit so y'all can see okay so that's better so I just want to um, I just changed the camera a little bit so you guys can see the bottom of the dress I even feel like dancing that's like the vibe that I get when I'm wearing this dress it just it is so stunning it is so stunning and I love this detail over here so I think it's more of like a mermaid shaped dress so yeah, another favorite of mine. Absolutely love it. Guys, this dress! This dress! Wow! What a wow! So I love this dress. Let me put this down a little bit. I love this dress. Just look at this neckline. Like it's not too low. And it goes all the way down past my knee. So it's definitely not a revealing dress. I wouldn't say it's a revealing dress, but wow, I feel like such a wow in this dress. Like I feel like a 10, like even a 20. And I feel like it's so sexy. I have never felt this sexy, honestly, wearing a dress before, especially when it's so like figure hugging, but I just feel like it is, yeah. <laughs> I'm just speechless. I absolutely love this dress. And I haven't worn this dress out yet. I don't even know where I'm going to wear it. Like, where do you wear this kind of dress? To a date? Girls night out? To a function? I don't think I'm wearing this type of dress to anybody's wedding. Because I'm not trying to, you know, I just feel like, mm, 
too much attention but yeah the booty is popping you know the twins are sitting upright like everything is just yeah i love this dress absolutely love this dress i just feel like it makes me look so so good and this dress is called let me see it is called your needs made dress and i got this in an extra small and yeah this dress was 17 dollars so super cheap as well that's about like 240 rand if i'm not mistaken and in fact i paid less than that because i did get a discount code and like i said before there's discount codes all over the internet for fashion over and if you cannot find one which is impossible first of all but if you cannot find one go on their website and just register like open an account on their website and they're gonna send you a discount code like 30 percent just for joining so yeah um this dress yeah it is a wow <laughs> i love it as you can tell the material is very stretchy i when i first fit it i almost wished that i had gotten a small just because i kind of struggled but now wearing it for the second time and now that i'm wearing it in this i actually fit it in my bedroom when i first got it just very quickly and i was so excited so i fit it and I thought it was amazing, of course, but like now that I'm seeing it in this light and like in front of a full length mirror, I'm just like, girl, damn, <laughs> is this you though? Like, I absolutely love this dress. And of course, I, again, I'm wearing Spanx because I ain't about that booty shaking life. So I like everything to just be like, you know, there and stay there basically. <laughs> so yeah. I love this dress. I've got nothing to say, nothing bad to say about it. Please let me know which is your favorite dress. I keep going back and forth. Like, I feel like this is my favorite dress, but I also say that the pink dress is my favorite dress. And like the one before this one. But now that I'm wearing this one, I'm just like, whoa, who is this girl? Because like, I don't know this girl. I don't know. I don't know this girl, but like, it's a pleasure to meet you. Anyway, I'm being so dramatic. <laughs> hi it's a pleasure to meet you but yeah um this is the red dress and this is the final dress and now i'm going to move on to bodysuits okay so here is the first bodysuit and this is just a plain white bodysuit and this is called let me just get the name this is called don't be square bodysuit and i got it in the color ivory if i come a little bit closer it just has a square uh, or a straight neckline and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's just very simple and sexy. White is a very classic color. And here is the bag. And yeah, this was $17 or rather $18. And there's nothing much to say about it. The material is like very smooth. It's like that, like it goes shh. <laughs> a little bit of that shh thing i know it's a terrible description but that's like the best that i can do but yeah um it has a very like so it's a very soft material and it does come in different colors as well i just got it in the white because i thought that white is just very classy and it goes with a whole bunch of different colors and yeah this is it I'm a grown woman. <laughs> So here is another top and this top is called Talk That Talk Off Shoulder Top and I got this in black. It does come in different colors as well but I just got it in black and I got it in an extra small as well and this was $18 and yeah I really really like this. It is off shoulder just like a bunch of the other stuff which I got as well. So it seems like I kind of had a theme to this whole um when i was ordering but for me like i just love showing this part of my body i feel like it's very sexy and effortless if you get what i mean and there's just buttons over here going all the way down so it's just a very simple top it's a nice thick material but not too thick that you can't wear it in the summertime because it is a summer top or autumn top or spring top i would say and yeah i just love it this was featured in my lookbook if you haven't seen it you've got to watch it it's so good even if i say so myself and i think i will try and link it somewhere probably in the description box but basically it's the video before this one and yeah this is the top just very simple and sexy 
Okay, so this next one is a swimsuit and I'm only gonna go as far back as this because I don't feel that comfortable yet showing everything to the internet. I feel like we're just starting to get to know each other, you know, and maybe after we get to know each other a little bit better, then maybe we can show a little bit more. But for now, let's just keep it here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is a swimsuit which I got off of Fashion Nova as well. It's very, very sexy but not showing too much in my opinion. And here is the bag. It's just a regular swimsuit really. And let me just get the price. Okay, so this was $15. That's what I've just seen over here. And this is called the Malibu Pool Party Swimsuit in the color Blush. So I think I definitely order um, other swimsuits from Fashion Over because this fits quite well and this is in the size S. And it was only $15, so it was really cheap. Swimsuits can be quite expensive. If you guys did not know, now you know. That just has a line over there, which gives an illusion of like a smaller waist. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so here is the final outfit. And this is just a black and white bodysuit. And this is called life is good bodysuit and i got this in a size extra small and to be honest i kind of wish i'd gotten this in a size small just because i feel like it goes up a little bit too high over here by the armpits and it has this zip detail so you can zip it all the way up if you like or you can just zip it down a little bit which is what I prefer and I really really like this bodysuit it's just very simple and sexy and the zip goes kind of like up to your belly button and yeah it's just a plain bodysuit and this was $20 and the material I would say is kind of like a jersey material but not as thick so it's wool basically and yeah this is the final item so i'm just gonna share my final thoughts now so stay tuned for that okay so now that we've tried on all the clothing i honestly for me fashion over is a steal i feel like it's so very affordable and there's kind of um something for everyone in my opinion yes the clothing more of it is more on the sexy side i would say but there is stuff more or less for everyone there is more conservative stuff there is more like business stuff there's swimwear there's like literally everything there's even shoes um on the fashion over website so for me you know i've never paid more than like 250 rand per item except for that pink dress that you guys saw the very long one um but basically you can get um a discount code so for me it's worth it I did struggle a little bit, but I think now I've figured out exactly um, I've figured out exactly how uh, to track my order and make sure that I actually receive my order. And even when I get to the post office, I can actually be like, "Hey, this was scanned today, and this is the tracking number." So anyway, um, so other than that, I would definitely order again from Fashion Over. For me, everything that I've ordered, I've absolutely loved. I've never paid more than like um 1.5 for like even up to six items so that's quite good if you run off that's about if you're paying a thousand rand for five items that's about 250 um in fact i'm lying it's about 200 rand per item which is not something you're easily gonna find in south africa unless it's a sale you know so definitely i would order again and i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and yeah stay tuned for the next one i'm not sure when it'll be but um just don't forget to uh switch on your notification bell for the next time that i upload thank you so much for watching Mwah.